Whether you've seen them on YouTube or Reddit, bar chart races are a very entertaining way of showcasing different types of data. While they look complex to make, you can actually make racing bar graphs on your own without any coding for free. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can do just that so you can create and upload your own racing bar charts. Together, we'll be making our very own racing bar chart of COVID recoveries by country by gathering data, organizing everything, and adding customizations to get our very own racing bar chart. And all I ask is that you hit the like button down below. So with that being said, let's get started. Now, before we actually make our racing bar chart, we need to get some data. And if you've seen these videos before, one common theme is that a lot of the data you'll find that these graphs cover are time-based data. And they follow a time series, which means that there are certain variables and it shows the change of that variable by a certain unit over a set period of time. And there's tons of places you can find data sets and they don't have to be fully clean because we're also going to be organizing the data after. But a couple of places you can look are on Reddit. So a subreddit called r slash datasets, but there's also websites such as Kaggle, Google Dataset Search and Data Hub. So right now, as you can see, I'm on Data Hub and I'm on their coronavirus page and they have a ton of data sets here. And so the one I'm going to be downloading is going to be the time series data because that is what we're looking for. And so once you click on it, you're going to go ahead and click on the original version. And what it's going to do is it's going to download an Excel file or a CSV. Now you can also open these files in Google Sheets or any spreadsheet, spreadsheet based software, but I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel. And so all I'm going to do is open it up. And as you can see, there is a ton of data. There's thousands of rows that we're going to be cleaning up here. So right now what we can see is that the data is sorted by date for a specific country. And it shows us the province, the confirmed amount of cases, the recoveries and the deaths. Now, all we really need to do is reorganize this data. So it's by the country because on the racing bar chart, everything is sorted by country and the date is what causes the change in the actual animations. So the first thing we're going to do is remove any data we don't need. So since we're only looking at the date, the country and the recoveries, we can go ahead and delete the province. We can delete the confirmed cases and then we can right click and delete the deaths as well. Now, once we have all of this data selected, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of it like so, and then go into insert and insert a pivot table and then just click on OK. Now, what a pivot table will allow us to do is reorganize our data. So if we go back and look at the racing bar charts, we can see that the rows are actually different countries. So we can just take this country tab over here and drag it into the row box. And now we have the rows as countries. So now that we've added our countries, we still need to add the dates and the amount of people recovered. And so what we can do is we can take this date tab and drag it into the columns because what we're going to be tracking is the change in recovery cases as the dates progress. And once we drag it, we can see that there's a couple sub tabs that were already made because Excel automatically turned these months into years and quarters. What we're going to do is we're going to click on quarters and we're going to remove the field and we're going to click on years, remove the field. And now we have all of the countries sorted by the months. The next thing we have to do is add our cumulative data. So thankfully this data set already sums up the amount of recoveries instead of doing the amount of recoveries for each month, it's a total. So since this is a total, all we have to do is go to the recover tab and then drag it into the values. And as you can see, the values are automatically populated. So now we have our pivot table made the way we want it to. And one thing you're going to notice for this data set is that the January cases are much higher than any of the other ones. And this is because right now the January data is at the start, but this is for 2021, but all of the other months are for 2020. So we're going to have to keep that in mind when we're actually making our racing bar chart. But once we have our data, we can just save it by pressing control S. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Flourish, which is the animated bar chart maker. And so all you have to do is click the link down below in the description and click on create visualization. And you're going to have to make an account. So I'm quickly going to sign up with Google. So once you sign into your Google account, all you have to do is agree to their terms of service and set a username, and then you can register. And then we can skip this step right here. And we're going to be taken to Flourish. 
and it already shows us a demo racing bar chart. And you can go ahead and go through the walkthrough because it does a great job of explaining everything. But we're just going to click on Close Tour and click on Pause. So right now what we can see is the racing bar chart. And if we click on the data tab over here, we can get the behind the scenes where there's a ton of data, but I'm just going to be walking you through how everything works. Now, basically there is a legend as well, but the first column is going to be the country name or whatever your uh, labels are going to be. The second tab is your, in this case, region, but these are the sub labels. And this is what allows us to get different colored bars if we want to categorize them by color. The third tab is the image URL. And so if we go back into the preview, we see the labels and then we see the colors, but we also see a different country flag for each one. And so what you would do to change the image is we'll quickly go on Google Images. And then we can, for example, look up a flag. So maybe we can do a Japan flag and then find one we like. And then all we would have to do is right click on the image and click on copy image address. And then you can paste it into the image URL to change the image. And then over here, what we have is our different values. And these are the labels for that value. So in our case, it would be the different months. So what I'm going to do now is take all of this and just delete it so that we have a blank spreadsheet. And now what we have to do is we have to paste our values into this table. So I'm just going to quickly do a split screen like so. So now we have our Excel data and we have the actual Flourish table. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just get the labels ready. So we're going to do country. Now I'm not going to organize it by any sort of subcategory. And then afterwards, we have the images. I'm not going to update all the images right now either, but you can do that by just copying and pasting the link address, but there's 200 countries. So we're going to skip that step as well. And then we're going to add our labels and we're actually going to start at February because the February to December data is for 2020. And then we're just going to paste it right here. And then finally, the last one is going to be January like so. And then for all of the other columns, I'm just going to go ahead and select them by pressing shift and using my arrow key because there was a lot of other columns for the previous example. And then I'm going to right click and click on remove columns. So we have just the right amount of cells. So next I'm going to paste my labels, which in this case is going to be the countries. So all we have to do is select the countries over here, press control C, go back into the Flourish tab and press control V and all of our countries should be pasted. Next, we're going to actually start to add our data. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the February to December data first, like so. And we're going to go all the way down. And I'm just going to skip the total tab because we're not doing a total, we're just doing the individual values. I'm going to press Control C, go back into February and press Control V, and it should paste my data and it should line up like so. And then finally, we just have to add the January data. So I'm just going to press this cell over here, press shift and then control, and then the up arrow key, and it's gonna keep taking me up. And then I'm going to keep holding shift, let go of control, go down and down to have just the values. And then I'm going to press control C to copy it, go over here and press control V to paste it like so. And now we have all of our data. And so if we go back into the preview tab, what we're actually going to see is our racing bar chart. And it's already animated and working, which is amazing, but it doesn't look that great right now, and we can still customize it. So on the right side over here, there's a ton of different ways you can customize your racing bar chart, but we're going to be going over the main customizations. So the first one is to, of course, add a title. So what I'm going to do is go over here and type in COVID recoveries by country. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it middle aligned so we can see it right here. And then I'm going to select change title style so I can make it bigger. I can also click on color and make it the same color as the other text, like so. There we go. And now it's changed and that looks good for the title. Next, I'm going to change the actual bar colors. And so what we can do is we can go to bar colors, of course. And then we can, instead of doing by category, we can click on by bar. 
Now you would choose by category if you had used the category tab over here, but since we're not doing it, we can just have random colors and make it look prettier. And so once I have by bar selected, I can go ahead and choose a color scheme and I'm just going to do, no, that does not look good. I'm going to do flourish, hmm, maybe flourish one. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to change the speed. Since we're making a video, we wanna make sure that the video is long enough uh, and so what I'm going to do is go into timeline and animation. And here what you can do is basically set the total length of your video. So if I wanted this to be a one minute video, I would go over here to timeline duration and just make it 60 like so. And now the video is going to be twice as slow. And then what you can also do is change the jump duration and the other animations. So that's when the bars are getting bigger or smaller or passing the other ones. But I like to keep things the way they are. And now what we can do is we can go all the way to February and start to preview the data. And so this is what our chart looks like right now. So we're still in February, now we're in March, and we can see the data moving very, very quickly. And this is super cool in my opinion. I always wondered how to do this because I've seen a bunch of these videos on Reddit, but being able to do it, you know, it's pretty nice how easy Flourish is to use and how like great the output looks because it only took us like 10 to 15 minutes and we have this full video showing us the trends. And so that is how we create the racing bar chart. Now the final thing you have to do is export it. Now since we're using the free version of Flourish, we have to also publish it, which just means it'll be public. So we click on export and publish and then we click on publish to share and embed and then we're going to click on publish. Now, once you've actually exported and published your project, you're going to see it in your My Projects folder. And so all you have to do is click on your profile picture and go to My Projects. And then what we can do is we can click on this project over here, which is the one we just made. And then you wanna to go to Export and Publish again and click on the public link. Now, you do need a premium account to download as a video, but what you can also just do is once you open up this public page of the project you published, you can just record your screen and that'll work just as well. And there you go. Now you have your own racing bar chart, but that's about it. Hopefully you guys did like this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.